So uh, we got a phone call earlier today from a local landowner here in Lampasas, Texas. He's got about 75 acres. We've been out there before, only once. Uh, but when we went out there before, it was the first time just to scope it out, get the lay of the land. And uh, we killed a fox, but we weren't really prepared to predator hunt. I didn't even have my scan pro with me from Wicked Lights. So we didn't recover it without light. Uh, I didn't want to go into the thick stuff, <laughs> you know, blind. Uh, we had our night vision with us and we hit it. And he ran He ran in the uh, woods and, and expired. So now, last night he had a bunch of coyotes uh, that were not too far from his stock tank, which, are, which is pretty close to his house. So he wanted to know if we wanted to come out and help him out again. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that. So we're going to set up over here on this side of his property. Uh, which is the backside. The wind is coming from this way over here. And that's perfect for setting up here because we had the mountain coming. Everything's up there on this hill slash mountain. Uh, I call it a mountain, but it's actually a hill. <clears throat> and, uh, but the wind's right in our face this way. Nothing's going to wind us. Normally, I like to sit up on the other side, or I would because there's a gut pile slash burn pile, but we're only 500 yards from it. So whatever's going to come there, we can call them in over here. So let's get set up and let's get the party started. So, coyote down. I also shot a fox, but I hit him far back and he took off. And uh, yeah, I'm not looking for him. It's all like water, thick water back there. So yeah, I'm not going back there for a fox. But anyway, nice female down. She's pretty big, great coat. We're gonna save this fur, but phew, I know he is gonna be ecstatic. The landowner is gonna be so happy. And don't worry, my gun's unloaded. I know it's it's pointing at the at the, at the family good stuff, so uh, it definitely unloaded. <laughs> but anyway, Fox Pro does it. Man, the wicked lights, the battery, I didn't even realize it was half dead. I kept saying, I was like, why is it so dim? It's so dim. And then I realized, I was like, I didn't change the battery from the other night when I left it on all night. So at the end of the hunt, I switched out a new battery just to double check and it super bright again. So it had me worried. I thought something was wrong with my light or, or my scope, but, uh, I haven't had anything go wrong with them yet, so, but if it does, Wicked will take care of you. But the A67 ATN on the 6.8 SPC, Coyote dropped dead in its tracks. <laughs> 